we're playing to win. Um, we don't think there's a team we can't beat. There's a lot of good teams, but you know, we again we play together, and, and having togetherness is such a dangerous factor in this game.
against Long Stadium. Talk to us. Uh, it's incredible. You know, sometimes uh, guys step up like this and, and, you know, you don't know how to explain it. And, you know, you can see they're tired and they got nothing left and it's overtime and we just come off of two games and, and you know, they turn it in one more gear. So it's a special thing. I'm so proud of them, but, you know, the job's not done. We, uh, we, we, can, we can really try to win this thing on uh, Sunday. So, yeah. Talk to us about Austin Luke. 52 points. Never seen, never seen something like this uh, since I've been in the DBL. I mean, you know, maybe. <laughs> uh, I, they gotta know we gotta work tomorrow, though. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's incredible. You know, I, I, he was tired, and I, I wanted to pull him out, and he said no. Uh, he's just he's just a winner, you know, he's, uh, he, he refused to lose guy and you know I've never seen a performance like that, especially never coached a guy like this, you know, I don't think I've ever played with a guy like this, it's incredible, it's incredible. Okay, right, coach. We got one more and we're, we're on a mission to win this thing. Thank you, go celebrate with the team. Thank you. Austin, first things first, how do you feel? Um, I'm exhausted, but you know, that, uh, that doesn't really matter right now because I'm so happy for my team and for this organization and uh, got a lot of emotions going on right now, but most, mostly just happy and uh, excited to play in the final. So really excited. You dropped 52 points. It's crazy. What happened, man? Like, where did you uh, find the strength man. after Wednesday? Uh, in the first half, you know, in the pick and roll, I try to I try to find guys and, and get guys shots. Mm -hmm. But they were doing a really good job of uh, you know helping and and letting me score. So I had a couple turnovers early. And then I realized, you know, they're, they're going to let me score or make me into a scorer instead of a passer. And uh, yeah, as a, as a scorer, you know, once you hit one shot, you get another and another. And, yeah. and the, the rim starts to get bigger and bigger. So um, yeah, just, just got some confidence going. And my teammates were amazing. They just they kept telling me to keep going, keep going. Um, made some big shots down the stretch when you know I, I was injured and couldn't go as, couldn't go as hard as I, I would have liked. But guys stepped up. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. The finals against Veer, yep. another team from the Elite B. Crazy. They, they, gave us, us. They, gave, they didn't give us much respect in Elite B. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm happy for Veer. You know, they, they had a really good season and maybe didn't get as much respect as uh, they should have. And uh, I'm excited to play in the, in the final. It'll be a good game, I think. Every time we've played them, it's been a good matchup. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm ready for, for Sunday. Wednesday, you said, I hope I made the fans proud. <laughs> You, you did that. Is there something else you want to say to the fans? Uh, just give a quick shout out, you know, to my mom, my dad, my sister, my little niece, Winnie. I uh, love you guys so much. And, and the rest of the fans, just, you know, we're going to try to go win it for you guys. I know it's a new club and, you know, uh, you guys can't be here to support us in person. But, you know, we're going to go try to win the cup. Exciting stuff. Appreciate it, man.